Sons, what's poppin'? It's your boy from Kids of Bits Tarot coming at you guys with your February 1st to the 7th Love Tarot reading, alright? Let's see what's poppin' for my Tauruses, my Virgos, and my Capricorns. Hopefully you guys are doing fantastic. If so, let me know down in the comments down below. Keep in mind this read is general. It may apply, it may not. If it does, it's amazing. If not, it's not your message. Feel free to check out any other amazing tarot readers that we got here on YouTube, okay? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. February 1st to the 7th. Let's take a look and see what's crack a lack in between you and whomever you're dealing with. Your individual readings are already out. Feel free to check them out on that playlist that's on my channel and these are extra messages take them how they resonate let's go man ten of swords energy between you and another person could have been dealing with a libra aquarius gemini with that ten of swords energy being present um there is something that you're getting out of there's a cycle in your life that's ending for some you want to change your career path which is good for some right here also two of wands in regards to career path two of wands with a hermit card you want to be a sole proprietor okay you're tired of working for corporations tired of working for people um for some of you that's because you're going through massive spiritual awakening with the ace of swords you realizing the truth you're realizing that you don't need to slave around for money when you can make money off of who you are you can make money off of your energy what you're choosing to do what your desires are what your dreams are instead of sitting at a nine to five job every day getting paid minimum wage you're sitting here in this energy realizing i can do whatever the fuck i put my mind to okay there we go spiritual journey intake now we got this happening here. I want to be a sole proprietor. I'm going to do this by myself. I'm going to blow up. I'm going to get big. I'm going to get big fucking money, right? That's a good energy to have for you guys. I like that, okay? In regards to love right now, Ten of Swords. Now, you and another person, cycle had closed out. Things is ending. As I keep saying, lunar eclipse energy, as well as we got going on blood moon energy. We're ending these cycles. We're moving into new ones. It's going to keep happening for quite some time, okay? I know. It's fucking annoying. Well, guess what? It's happening. A lot of people are having these endings, and these endings are going to continue until we clear them out, okay? Two of Wands, all the way to the Ace of Swords, whoever you're dealing with here, you could have received a harsh truth from somebody, okay? This could have came from the person directly or from another person, but from what I'm seeing, somebody gave you a harsh and negative truth, um, which made you want to choose something else, okay? Instead of choosing them, you chose a different path, whether that was career or love you said i'm out okay clarifying this ace of swords in regards to who you're dealing with let's take a look yep knight of cups ace of pentacles they took an opportunity to give love to somebody else and they took an opportunity to go somewhere else now they could they have cheated on you possibly but i won't throw it and dumb it down all the cheating whoever you were dealing with could have just found an opportunity where they found happier and they felt happier with someone else um you also may have found out that somebody you were fucking with or dealing with was engaged too um and also it could have been that somebody wanted a job opportunity more than they wanted a relationship okay either way though whoever you were dealing with they came forward and told you the truth that hey i have a different love interest i'm interested in somebody else and i'm not looking forward to necessarily continuing this connection partnership or relationship as to that outcome like i said the hermit card you're now focusing on you you're not focused on anybody else you are now focused on you okay good energy to have hermit energy energy is good too because with the hermit card it's all about you becoming wise so during this time of isolation someone here is teaching you a lesson okay no matter what lesson it was reevaluate the connection reevaluate the relationship or anything that you have to reevaluate, you will learn a broad lesson here that's really going to benefit you, okay? What we're going to do is we're going to go over their feelings, your feelings, where the energies are aligning, and the outcome for the first week of February. Now, in regards to who you're dealing with, let's take a look here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, February 1st to the 7th. Hello. What we got going on? The High Priestess can be dealing with a Piscean. Somebody hiding things from you, okay? Somebody's a sneaky little slithery snake. Whoever you are dealing or connecting with here with the High Priestess energy, um, it feels as if for them too, they were feeling guided to go somewhere else. So this is something that will happen, okay? As I always say, you will always learn something in a tarot reading. Here's something to learn. The High Priestess can symbolize your guides. Now, it's not your guides, Earth sign. It's the other person, right? But their guides are telling them that it's time to go somewhere new. It's time to do something new. Intuitiveness, okay? Getting the message and being directed and guided to somewhere else. Um, sometimes a lot of people do feel as if that um, our free will plays a big factor into why we leave relationships, and granted it does. Because if this person did want to stay with you, they would, right? But at the end of the day, your spirit guides will put something new in your path so that, you can sh so that it can basically show you that, hey, this is the better option for you. And nine times out of ten, even though you're engaging and using your free will, you know, you're going to want what's thrown in your path more anyway. You see what I'm saying? 
because your guides, the universe, things of that nature, your angels, whatever you want to refer it to, will always know what's best for you. So whoever you were dealing with, they were feeling guided to a different path, especially if it was a different love interest. And the beauty in that is that even though it hurts that they may have walked away and left you, um, the beauty in that, and they could have done other things worse, right? But the beauty in that is that they are finding the partner they're meant to resonate with, as you will be as well, okay? All right, let me keep it popping and continue moving forward. This, um, got a little bit of a card mashup going on here. But that's a beautiful thing, you know, when you when you realize that we have free will, we engage in free will, but we will always be guided to the right place, you will see that repeating, you know? In your free will, you may try to exercise it so much, but you'll keep seeing certain situations manifesting in front of you. That's because the universe is trying to tell you this is the better way, okay? All right, let's keep it popping, man. Now, in regards to who you're dealing with moving forward, let's take a look. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. February 1st through the 7th. So there can be a breakup that's occurring here, or this is just energy that you're going to be seeing or that energy that could have happened, okay? All right, so yes, whoever you're dealing with, as I said, four of pentacles reversed, ace of cups, you're connecting with somebody that just didn't feel the same for you anymore and is deciding to chase that new love. Um, because six of swords all the way to the world card. Maybe they wanted to travel. Maybe they met somebody while they were out on a business venture, things of that nature. But whoever you were just dealing with here, they felt that they had more journey to go through. They felt as if they had a higher resonation with other people and maybe just not a high enough resonation with you. They, unfortunately, even if it sounds cruel, knew that there was a better option out there for them. Therefore, they went seeking that, okay? This could have been fixed energy, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo. Now, moving forward to your energy here, let's take a look. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, February 1st through the 7th. This could have been a person at a distance from you. For some, it could have been a, a, a long-distance relationship as well. Let's take a look. Yeah, the chariot card. You don't look back. You keep it popping. You keep pushing forward, okay? Let's take a look here. It took some time out of you, I feel, because with the Five of Swords, you felt betrayed, you know? Of course, you're going to feel betrayed when somebody ends up leaving your life. Of course, you're going to feel betrayed when somebody walks away from you, correct? So you're always going to feel that betrayal because we have, and, uh, and it's unfortunate, and I, I, I don't want to trigger people, but I'm going to, you know? It's going to happen. Our ego says, you're mine. So if we're in a relationship, our ego says, you're mine, okay? But when you really look at it from your soul's perspective, we don't own anybody, nobody owns us. We just complement each other and we have companionship um but we don't have ownership right um and of course i don't even feel like you're viewing it that way for the general you're not viewing it that way but some people or a person could have okay now five of swords to the ten of wands it was a struggle it was a struggle to um understand why this person um loved somebody over you why you felt as if you weren't good enough or why they felt as if you weren't good enough which i don't think was the case i don't think they felt that you weren't good enough it's just they know they didn't resonate and um you know it took a lot of time to heal and get through that period of time you know, it took a lot of time for you to actually, you know, focus on moving forward from your past here with the Six of Cups, the Strength card, um, to build the courage to be able to move on. But you did it. And now the Chariot card, all the way to the Magician card, Virgo and Cancerian energy, you are finally getting forward on your path, moving along, and manifesting something new into your life. A new partner is already on route to you, okay? New love is already on route to you. That's happening for you right now, Earth Sign. So you have nothing to worry about. And especially if you're practicing Law of Attraction, attracting in a soulmate right now, or just even setting the intention to gain a soulmate that's already going to be on the way for you okay all right moving forward in regards to where the energies are aligning between you and this other person let's take a look taurus virgo capricorn sun moon rising and venus february 1st to the 7th yeah you know plane of resonation just isn't the same anymore exactly plane of resonation just isn't the same anymore you know four cups the devil card not only do you guys ignore each other, but you just know that you kind of don't resonate with that energy, okay? Now, this could just be a Capricorn, so this could just be you isolating from somebody else, but it feels like, you know, you just, you're coming to the realization that in the past, you may have been upset as they left, but then you started realizing, yeah, maybe we weren't a good fit for one another. Like, those realizations started hitting you, like, maybe we weren't a good fit to be together anyways, and also, if they were going to choose somebody now, you know, what would have happened if we would have gotten married and then they chose somebody later, right? It's like a blessing in disguise. So, four of cups to the devil card, you know, showing that you guys are ignoring one another. The moon card here, you know, right now you're in this energy where you may feel... Um, a lot of emotions going on and that's due to the blood moon and the lunar eclipse so understand that you may be ungrounded you may not be feeling grounded you may not be feeling super duper happy but this energy once it passes through because everything shall pass you're going to be feeling fantastic you don't need to worry okay as well as four swords you guys are staying in a period in a place of isolation okay as for the outcome between you two for the first week of february 
Yes, exactly. Seven of Pentacles. Neither of you have time for one another anymore. You're not going to be investing your time in this person and vice versa. They're not going to be investing their time in you. Now, let me break this reading down and explain a lot of key factors that are going to be very beneficial to you and that will help you. Okay? Ten of Swords. We're closing out cycles, baby. Lunar Eclipse energy. It's happening no matter what. You're going to hear a lot of readers saying it. You're going to hear me saying it. And I am a messenger. It is what it is. It's going to keep expressing it until we get it. Okay? Cycles closing out. This can relate to your career. If it relates to your career, apply it accordingly, okay? And for those of you that are looking for new career paths, those career paths will be happening for you. You will be changing and shifting career paths, and especially Ace of Pentacles energy, there can be new jobs that are coming in for you, or you're choosing to become your own business. That's fine. Do you. You'll be successful, all right? This is healing from a past relationship. This relationship could have taken place long ago, but now during this week of February, uh, you're finally coming to terms with it. You're finally accepting all that healing energy. You're finally learning to get grounded because your emotions have been all over the place. See, the blood moon could have struck a nerve. The blood moon could have brought up a lot of past experiences or even brought up this person in your head to the point where you're like, why am I thinking about them? And then you had to come to that remembrance of, oh, well, you know what? This is a cycle that is over. Maybe I still had a little bit more work to do with inside myself to release them, purge them, and let them go, which you'll be doing, okay? So at the end of the day, you know, person you're dealing with, they found new love. They found somebody else. They felt guided towards somebody else. You were hurt by this, but guess what? You are going to find that other person because you're already on route. But I also feel, too, that before that person even comes right now, you're very focused on you. Like, there's a lot of things that are coming towards you, a lot of gifts that are coming towards you. Okay. Also a message coming in too. If you're playing the lottery, play any lotto tickets, like, like not lotto tickets, get a scratch off. If you like scratch offs, only buy a dollar scratch off or a $10 scratch off. You'll hit on either of those. Okay. Only buy the dollar ones or a $10 one. Nothing in between, nothing more. That's what they're saying where you'll hit a win off of. Okay. Either way though, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Pretty basic, pretty general read as they always are. These are just extra messages. If they resonate, let me know down in the comments down below. If they don't, kick it away okay take care guys have a great one i will catch you guys for your 7 through the 14 reading and then we will move into the mid monthlies by the time of the probably the 10th okay thank you all so much for watching take care and have a great one and i will catch you guys later peace